Hello family, greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel. I'm your brother Chief Lamashe Uyapal Sibulana, also known as Prince Ayoko, sending my peaceful and warmly greetings to you all wherever you are. How are you doing and how is our family at your side um, doing? To my brothers and sisters, to my subscribers and each and everyone who lives in the US, I say happy Thanksgiving day to you all. Um, I hope and pray that, you know, everything will go well with you uh, during this holiday. And to all my subscribers all over the world, thank you so much for always, you know, watching. And please continue to support this channel. Um, today, I have a whole lot of things doing here. We have a whole lot of things doing here at Queen's Guest House. And please... Before I continue to share with you whatever we are doing here, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new. And then click on the notifications uh, bell so that you always get notifications when I post new videos. Uh, please don't forget to share my contents with your families and friends and um, give my videos a thumbs up. So in today's video, I'm having um, uh, an artist here. Uh, is uh, doing some paintings on the walls. Uh, that is some artworks on the walls at Queen's Guest House. That is the walls that we do not put on the wall tiles. Talking about, you know, the walls that we painted. And I'm also having a walder here who is uh, here to make a shade for my poly tanks that I have on top of this uh, particular mini apartment. So, yeah, we are doing so many things to uh, here today and as a matter of fact i'm also shaving the apprentices of the world because their hair looks so bushy and that is what i can do for these uh, little uh, younger children so yeah keep watching and thank you so much for your time i appreciate you
these are the future generations. This, these people, this guy that I'm shaving, they are the future generation. So we have to really take good care of them. We have to make sure that we take care of their health and give them all the support that we can give them. It doesn't matter if it is your son, your daughter or not. Let's consider them, you know, as the youth and, you know, the future. So it's good for us to take care of, you know, children as in general. So this is one message that I have to share with all of you, my family, to take a look at it and to consider taking care of the future generations. This boy here is from a home. His parents is here, but I don't know, for some reason, I don't know why they don't shave his hair. And I can't, you know, judge him or whatever. All I have to do is to get his hair shaved so that he can feel nice. I mean, he can look nice with some smiles. <laughs> All right, so keep watching. Not too much, man.
Yeah, so they are enjoying their food. We are making shade for the poly tanks that will be providing Queen's Guest House uh, water. Uh, I mean, that will be providing water for the guest rooms at Queen's Guest House, as well as the kitchens and, you know, the toilets. Uh, the reason why we are making this uh, shade for the poly tanks is because, uh, first of all, we don't want dust to be getting uh into the poly tanks we don't want the poly tanks to be getting dirty and then secondly that's that's the first thing secondly uh the poly tanks is made of plastic and for the fact that it's made of plastic we don't want uh the sun to be you know uh exposed to, i don't want we don't want it to get exposed to the sun because um it, sometimes the sun is very very you know uh, kind of like um, hard here. The sun is hot here. Sometimes the weather is hot, so 
when it's been on the sun it can easily get spoiled so that is the reason why we are making the shade for the poly tanks and the poly tanks that you seen here is on top of the mini apartment that i built at queen's guest house you know the, the cistern is first that is the underground water tank is you know is first follows followed by the launch and then um that mini apartment is on top of the lounge and then this particular place that we are is on top of the mini apartment that is where the polytanks is so we are making sure that we protect the polytanks you know from spoiling so that is why we are making the shade and the guys are doing some good job here so we are going to uh find something to put on top of it to provide the shade so um yeah that is it we are going to get some mats that is made from bamboo we have some bamboo sticks uh mats here that they sell we are going to get those bamboo stick mats and then put it on top of this um frame so that we have our sheet for the poly tanks so that is what is going on Yeah, so the welder is here with his apprentices. It's a Sunday, but they are still working. All right, so family, yeah, there's so much progress here at Queen's Guest House with regards to the beautification of this particular beautiful guest house. I'm here with my brother, Mohammed. Mohammed is an artist and he's very very good artist. So I call Mohammed to come over here to do some artworks for me on the walls, you know, to do some artworks on the walls for Queen's Guest House. So right now Mohammed is here and this is the artworks that he has did so far. Um Mohammed, how long have you been uh, doing these artworks? Since when I was a kid. Since when you was you was a kid? Yes. Wow. Then you were born as an artist. Yes, a born artist. A born artist. So uh, please speak a little bit louder for me. Okay. okay. Alright, so what is the significance of this art? This one is the, the African sunset and a happy man who is over the landscape and making a sound and dancing according to your team because of the beauty of the nature is standing behind. So he's happy about where he's coming from and where he is, and that is nature. You can't get it anywhere unless in Africa. Oh wow! <laughs> All right, okay, yeah. So um, I'm so happy about this beautiful artwork that you did. I'll show the artwork, Yakubu. Yeah. So this is the artwork uh, brother Mohammed did. So I would like you to stand by the art and explain it some more. This is the moon when the sun is setting. You see the moon turn into brownish. Okay, so brother Mohammed, one more time, can you explain the meaning of this artworks that I mean of this art that we did? The scene here we use black as our natural soil and the fertile land of Africa. And this moon over here, this is the moon. When the sun is setting, you normally see the moon in a half way and with some yellowish and orange color. And the background, everything changes to red and orange. So that is why we put it there to show the sun, symbolizing the sun of the Africa. So that is why it is here on this artwork. So anyone who sees it, without me explaining, you will be able to tell this is a setting in Africa. Without me explaining to me again. And what about the man? The man. The man is in an abstract form. 
it will either be any of the tribes in Africa, whether Zulu, Dagoma, Konkoma, anyone in Africa will be standing there doing the dancing and the drama. Okay, that's nice. So let's get to the other arts. You are doing some wonderful job here. What about this art? This one is the all seeds. So once again, what's the significance or the meaning of this, this art? This one is showing us the African home, the home of Africa. In the early morning, early dawn, you see that the clouds, everything look bluish. So that's why it is like this. And these are the trees and some bushy grasses with the houses together, showing the unity of Africa, how we build and how we come together and do things. That is why the buildings are put together and under that here. Show that we are of different communities, but we are together. That is unity and peace. I like the art, but I mean, I like the meaning of this art. I know this one, you are yet to finish it, so I'm not gonna ask you anything about it. So let's move to the next art. Okay, yeah, so Brother Mohammed, uh, what about this art? This is an African queen. But to my soul, the way I dedicated it, looking at the name of this beautiful location, I fixed it here. You're talking about this beautiful this house. Beautiful house. Queen's, Guest Queen's house. Guest House. So I made this artwork commemorating the building. So whenever you come here, you don't have to walk around anywhere you go and you see this. You'll be able to tell, oh, this is where I am. This is where I am. You don't have to ask people to tell you, oh, this is Queen's Guest House or any other stuff. When you see it and you see the map, that is Africa. And you see a queen inside, telling you that you are inside the queen's guest house. That's marvelous. That's marvelous. That's fantastic. Thank you so, so much for dedicating this art to queen's guest house. I really appreciate you, my brother. So what about the last art here? The last art is African women in the action. They are dancing but it's in abstract form. So it can tell any other African woman you can think of, be it a queen, any other person in Africa, and that person is a woman. We dedicate this artwork to those, those people. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, uh, Brother Mohammed, I'm going to leave your... Okay, yeah, so Brother Mohammed, I'm going to uh, share your contact information on my YouTube uh, channel. Because I know a lot of people will love for you to do artworks for them. But then, uh, one good thing, I mean, my advice for you is that you are still young. And looking at the talent you have, it is so much. Your talent is so much. You have, you possess a lot of talents. So um, I would encourage you to keep pushing through, to keep doing some more research, and you know, to just keep learning some more about your work. You are really a good guy, a very calm, a honest man, and a very respectful young man. So I applaud you for whatever you are doing and for who you are. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. So go and continue your work. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Brother Mohammed is here beautifying Queens, uh, the walls to Queen's Guest House, and everything is coming along very nicely. All right, so family, as you can see, everything has come along very nicely and beautiful. Thank you all for watching, thank you all for your time, and thank you all for your support. Please continue to subscribe to this channel. My brothers and sisters who are new on, this, uh, on my channel, continue to subscribe to my channel. We are heading to 7K. Let's make it to the 7K and above you know we are going just we are having a chameleon race just gradual process but i know we'll get there we'll get to the million subscribers <laughs> in the future so um please always share my contents with your families and friends give my videos a thumbs up continue to subscribe to my channel if you are new and click on the notifications bell so that you always get notified of notifications when i post new videos and you know what yeah, just keep watching, keep watching, and don't skip the ads, keep watching. So thank you all for your time, and thank you all for, you know, uh, whatever you do for me on this channel. I truly appreciate you all. Till we meet again, I'm your brother, Chief Lamashewe Yapalsi Awolana, also known as Prince Ayoko, sending my peaceful, warmly, and lovely greetings to you all. Stay blessed, enjoy the rest of your weekends, and one love. Peace and blessings. I love you all. Mm.
Yo.